When I was a little girl, I was five, we had a playpen, and I sat on it and broke it, and I was scared. It's the largest thing I ever broke. And um, I'm holding my mashed potatoes. My mom came to me and she said, you break? I said, no, I didn't break it. I was scared. So she went and got my dad. And my dad's big. I mean, he's six, six foot one. And he came and he flipped me by my feet and held me upside down. And I could see the green shag carpet. It was like a moss green. It was pretty, actually. And he patted me on the bottom. But he flipped my world around. And to me, that's conceptual art. When I saw Duchamp, the fountain, and say John Cage, and it got me to think about what I saw and other things too and question it. To me that was conceptual art when I was a child. Um, yeah, so anyway, I think, it can, I think you can make conceptual art and still improve the quality of your painting and your technique. I don't think that has to go out the door. I think you can paint things that are conceptual, whatever you choose. I think conceptual has a place in the art that we make because it's it's a new. I mean, it's not new. It can, it, well, everything's always conceptual, but you know, I think the way Duchamp came at it during the war was like that. It was, it was a different way of coming at art to tell us to think about it, and I think that was really good. And then I love Lee Bonacou, and I love her strong during the birth control, the women get birth control, and and also the neo-dada of a, you know, the war, the, the Vietnam War going on. So I think conceptual art, and I, and I do hope the VMFA gets more of that to show people.